Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I recently became debt-free and are now working towards saving up six months worth of expenses for a fully funded emergency fund. We use the zero-based budget and the cash stuffing methods to stay on track because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. All right, you guys, welcome back. I am so excited to be hanging out with you today. In this video, I'm going to be doing a cash condensing, which is my favorite type of video to film, as well as my favorite video to watch other creators film and post. So let's go ahead and dive right in. If you are new to the channel or to cash stuffing, what a cash condensing is, is when you take the smaller denominations that are kind of building up in your cash envelopes and you condense them into bigger bills so that they don't take up as much space in your envelopes. So I went ahead and went to the bank already and pulled out some cash from my savings. So I pulled out $1,700 from my, oh, look at this super, it's like an antique bill, a <laughs> hundred dollar bill. But I pulled this money out of my savings account and the exact same amount is gonna go back in to my savings account. But they're just bigger bills so that we can condense the smaller ones that are making my cash envelopes feel a little bit too full. Let's go ahead and dive into our cash condensing. I'm also going to be, I have to get the rest of these out of here. I'm also gonna be using some placeholders because I think there's a few envelopes that are going to need placeholders. And these are just basically like a bookmark to show what amount of cash um, is in that envelope, even though the cash is not physically in the envelope. So I'll explain that kind of when we get there. So I'm gonna set those aside. And as always, let's get started with our high priority, I think, or do I wanna do no, let's get started with high priority first. I was gonna maybe start with my savings challenges, but I think this will make more sense. So there are some envelopes that I don't condense just because I like to have the smaller bills. So for groceries, I like to have the smaller bills in there. Clothing we can condense if possible. So we can take out these 50s and replace it with 100. So we have 325 left in clothing. Beauty, we just have 150, so we are not able to condense that one. Household, I just did an unstuffing. So some of these might not need to be condensed, but I do know that we're like in desperate need of one. So pet care, for example, um, I'm actually gonna swap this 50 out for, a, I'll put that one in the back. Just one that's a little more crispy. Okay, um, 20, 40, 60, 81. make sure this is still 100 20 40 60 80 90 100 I do like to keep some 50s in here because when we go and get dog food it's about 50 bucks so 1 152 20 30 so 230 still in pet care Vehicle maintenance. All right, so this guy can get condensed for sure. So one, two, three, 350, four, 450, 500. So let's actually keep a 100 in here and then we'll swap this out for a $500 placeholder. And I'm actually not sure that I'm gonna have enough $500 placeholders. So I might have to come back and <laughs> grab some placeholders from the shop and then come back and do that. So. Seasonal lawn care, one, two, three, four, 450, 470, 490, 500. I have a lot of thousands, but oh, here's a 500. Okay, one, two, three, four, 450, 470, 490, 500. And actually, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to show you guys, I actually am going to one, two, three, 
four, five. So seasonal lawn care is in an envelope that we will likely be spending money out of soon because spring is coming. And so I'm actually not going to put this in the bank quite yet. I get questions on this system all the time. So I keep that money. Sorry, I just bumped my camera stand. Okay. I keep that money in this binder so that it is close to us. I think I have... Yes, yeah, so I do have one for lawn care. And I decided to use these A5 envelopes just to see if I liked them. So I will keep this $500 in a separate envelope in a separate binder. So this is where I keep all of the money. For the most part, that have placeholders in my envelopes, I keep them in a separate place. And it just depends on the category. And this is just something I do. It's not, I don't think a lot of cash stuffers do it this way. But one thing about my husband and I is that we are both um, spenders. Like we, we enjoy spending money, not frivolously necessarily, but um, we just, we both are natural spenders. And so if we see that we have a large amount in our savings account, it makes us think that like subconsciously that we have like a lot of money even though it's allocated for something specific. And so then we tend to get sloppy and careless with our like day-to-day -day spending. Cause it's like, oh, we have X amount in our savings account. So that means that I can go and get this or this or this, and we just get kind of careless. And so when it's out of sight, out of mind, it kind of keeps us in check. And we're not like thinking we have more money than we actually do. So it's something I started just to kind of change our mindset in our relationship with money and just our spending habits. And it's just working really well. So we continue to do it. There are some categories like medical where we are not planning on spending this money anytime soon. So this thousand dollars is actually in our savings account, like in the bank. So we don't keep this on hand because we don't have plans to spend this money for medical anytime soon. Whereas seasonal lawn care, we will likely be spending this money within the next like three to six months. So we're just going to keep it with us so that we're not tempted to spend it. Okay. So in medical, uh, let's see, we have one, two, 253, 354, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So we are going to be able to condense this a bit. So one, 200, so we can keep a 50, and then and then 50 70 80 90 95 100 Oh my gosh. Okay. So 1000 1450 Copays, I'm pretty sure I can't condense this. It has $135 in it. Health just has 20, so we're good there. Tax prep, we have one, two, 253, 354, 450. So we'll be able to condense this for two $100 bills. So 1,000, one, two, three, four, 450, perfect. And this tax prep money is to pay our CPA to do all of our tax returns. <laughs> all right, so we can swap out these two tens for a 20. All right, I'm going to do this a little out of order. Since I'm getting low on 100s already, we're going to condense our savings challenges next because this is money that is actually going to be going back to the bank. So let's see here. I'm going to condense both months and I'm just going to keep doing this. So each, like the actual envelope might not have the exact amount in it, but I'm fine with that because... I know I've saved exactly these amounts, and so I know exactly how much we should have in our savings account. So $500 is already in there. One, two, three, four, five. So we could actually swap this out for a 1K, which is what we're gonna do. One, two, three, 354, 450, 500. 
So we'll keep this here and we'll swap this out for a thousand. So oh my gosh, I'm just trying to figure out which, you know what, we can just pick a different 20. I just like keeping like super crisp 20s. <laughs> probably looks like a hot mess to you guys because it is all right let's count up a thousand here so one two three four five six seven eight eight fifty nine nine fifty and then a thousand so we'll put all this so now we're gonna have plenty of fifties and hundreds to work with here I'm gonna use that one why not so we'll just keep this here and then this one can go here perfect so this money is actually going back to the bank because this 10k savings challenge that we're doing is towards our goal of saving up a fully funded emergency fund and it's the 10k savings challenge so this is actually going into our savings account all right so next let's do our low priority sinking funds so eating out, we're going to leave, we're going to leave drinks, um, we're going to leave our personal spending cash, self-care, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I'm going to do 250s. This is kind of mostly for my nails. Date night. Um, what do I want to do with date night? I'm going to leave it like this because usually when Chris and I go on a date, it's under 50 bucks. So family fun. Let's see. We can swap this out for a 100, I think. Gifts. Oh, this one took a hit. I just did my cash on stuffing. Oof. It has 95 left in there right now. I like to have it around 300. That's when I consider this one like fully funded. Home. Um, let's just swap these out for 100. Organizing. Probably do the same thing. Freeze dryer, I know this one can get condensed. One, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty, seven hundred. Although I don't think I have any more five hundred dollar placeholders. Oh, I have a white one. That'll work. All right, so is it seven hundred? One, two, three, four, four fifty, five hundred. So I do not have a like actual thing made for my freeze dryer. I don't think. I still need to make one for this one. What was that one? I don't even remember. All right, so hockey is not gonna need So I think when I get to the shop today, I'm just going to quick whip up a couple of these because I do, I have it, it's on my desk. I just, for some reason, we'll come across it, what this money is for. This is another 500 that I have in a placeholder somewhere. I just cannot remember what category it is. Okay, but freeze dryer, so we have 700. Renovations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I really think I'm out of them now. <laughs> Quite a few fully funded though. Yeah, I just have a thousand left. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave this one for now. Hockey rink. Just gonna swap these two out for a 20.
Travel just has 40, so we can't condense that one. We cannot condense miscellaneous. All right, next we'll do the kids binder. I don't think this one is too bad, but let's see. So 140 in kids clothing. All right, back to school. One, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 80. It's not gonna do much, but we can still lighten it up by one bill. Birthday parties. Liam's birthday is coming up in March, so some of that money will be getting spent. Well, oh, we can't do anything here. What about gymnastics? No. Can condense it up a little bit. I'm trying to save up 200 in here because I already paid for her her next um, session, which was $196. I just rounded it up to 200. So once we get that saved up, we'll be able to take that money back to the bank. Cannot condense Rowan. And condensed crystal though. And then kids miscellaneous, we cannot condense, it just has 60. All right, and then we have our holiday sinking funds. Um, Valentine's Day, we cannot condense, it has 220s and a five, but Easter, so 50. Actually, let's count these 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 10, 20, 25, 30. All right, so for Easter, we have 1, 2, 250, 270, 280, which is what we started with. All right, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And that's it. So 130 in Mother's Day. Let's see. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So we can do 220s. Oh my gosh, so some of these are getting kind of... So $90 in Father's Day. I feel like I just messed up Mother's Day for some reason. We'll find out. So we can swap out these for a 50. Why I keep putting this money down because then I'm picking it right back up. Black Friday, uh, let's see, 10, 20. So we can swap. I think it's because it's easier for me to do this when I'm not trying to hold the cash. So Christmas, 1, 2, 3, 354, 455, 550, 570, 580. So I don't have any more $500 placeholders, but we can swap these two out for two 100s. But I'll put placeholders in here off camera. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 580. Perfect. New Year's Eve. 
Can't do anything in here. Seasons is already, you know what? I'm gonna take this out and put a fully funded in here because, oh, that's what, this is what the, uh, the category is for that envelope that doesn't have like a card with it. So then we're actually gonna go back to Christmas. We're gonna take out that 500, put the placeholder in there. I have a bunch of imperfect placeholders at the shop, so I'm gonna grab some of those. And then let's get this $500 put in its home. I know Christmas is like a year away, but we still, this is what we did last year for Christmas and it worked really well. It's just nice to have like the tangible cash with you to really be able to see how much you have. And this gets kept in our safe, which is guarded by two giant German Shepherds. All right, so that should be good. And then seasonal decor. 51. I'm gonna keep a couple smaller bills in here. Like I know I could condense these 250s into a 100, but sometimes when I go to TJ Maxx, I don't wanna break 100. So, like if I spend under 100, there we go. Or Hobby Lobby, I love shopping at Hobby Lobby too. Oh, that's so much better. All right, so then the last thing that we are going to condense is our month ahead savings challenge. Whew, and I, I broke this up, so it has like the right amount in here, but I'm really low on $500 placeholders, so I have to get creative here. One, two, three, four. So let's just take these out, and I'm just going to... I'll just sift through these binders again. And put the placeholders in here so I can take that cash to the bank. Cause again, these are savings challenges. So all of this cash will go back to the bank. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, fifty. Oh, this is only okay. So we condensed it a little bit. I might just have to come back to these savings challenges because a lot of them are going to need $500 placeholders. And so I just might do this off camera because, I mean, the other thing I could do is like what I'm doing with my, well, some of these smaller ones actually might be fine. Let's check out the smaller ones and see if we can do some 50s. So this one cannot be condensed at all. So we can do a 50 here. I like don't want to use that old 100. I don't know why. OK, 
Okay, this one is as condensed as it can be. It has 60 in there. This one, I'm not sure. We just finished this one. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So we can swap these out for two 20s. I just filmed my cash stuffing and we just finished this one this week. Okay, definitely can condense this one. So 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. No, not, it should be 90. Okay, I counted. These tens were sticking together. So again, two 20s. So once I'm completely done with the whole one month ahead, I will take all of this cash back to the bank. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty-five, fifty. 30, 40, 45, 50. No, that's not right. Oh yeah, because we did the entire month and then I'm coloring in, I'll show you guys. I don't know if you can see it that well. So I started coloring in these on the top here to signify like my second go around at it. Cause I'll continue to use the same trackers and just color in darker areas of those trackers. So 70 is what we should have in there. Perfect. So then, so I can make sure I have my amounts correct. What I'm going to do is count this money to make sure I have the 1700 to return back to my savings account and then the correct amount for the amount of money we should be taking back to put into our savings that we pulled from our savings challenges. So I'm gonna count that money real quick. Right, so I accounted $3,200, so we're going to subtract $1,700, which is what is going to go back into our savings account, and technically this is all going back into our savings account, but I like to make sure that the amount I borrowed from our savings account to do the condensing is correct, and then the amount that we are taking from our savings challenges to deposit into the bank is also correct. So that means $1,500, which is exactly what we should have, will also be going into our savings account for from our savings challenges that we have been cash stuffing. Hopefully that all makes sense, but that is going to be it for today's cash condensing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it blessed you in some way and I cannot wait to see you in my next one.